Hi, I'm Jo Bailey and this video is called Nine Signs of Dementia that Don't Involve Memory. With dementia affecting 1 in 14 people over the age of 65 or a staggering 1 in 4 people over the age of 80, it's not uncommon for people to be wondering if some of the symptoms that they're exhibiting in themselves or noticing in others may be a sign of dementia. People tend to mistakenly believe that one of the early and primary signs of dementia is memory loss. Whilst this is true in Alzheimer's disease and some other dementias, it's not always the case. There are other dementias and there are dementias that don't really involve memory loss at all. So if you're worried about signs and symptoms in yourself or others, have a listen to these nine different types of behaviours and presentations that don't involve memory that may indicate early dementia. Number one is called pica otherwise known as eating weird stuff or non-food substances. Changes in appetite and the foods that you crave and the things that you're eating might be an early sign of dementia. Some people with dementia will eat food that is spoiled, food that is rancid, um, or non-food substances such as flowers or bits of cardboard or even sometimes things that might be dangerous like small metallic objects. I remember my mum went through a stage where at the arts group in the home she was in, she was trying to eat the art products and eat the glitter and I would go there and sometimes she'd have a very glittery tongue. Not tasty, but my mum was unable to really differentiate between a food and a non-food substance. So these odd changes may be due to the fact that dementia attacks parts of the brain that regulate appetite and taste buds as well. All the senses in dementia are altered in some slight way, including pain receptors. So sometimes it's really hard to know what the person is thinking, particularly if, like my mum, they are in a stage of aphasia where they can't talk or communicate adequately. Among the more common appetite and eating changes seen in, de in people with dementia are uh, loss of appetite, uh, often accompanied by uh, significant weight loss, uh, wanting to eat the same type of food every day, so very repetitious, uh, non-flexible food preferences. They may have increased sugar craving and sometimes weight gain. They may have a bit of an increase in alcohol consumption. Or they may add additional seasoning to foods, sometimes a small amount, sometimes an abnormal quantity. But noticing these really unusual changes in eating and appetite are one of the signs of dementia. Number two, shoplifting. Law-abiding citizens who just start randomly changing their behaviours and engaging in criminal behaviours of any sort, really. I do know people who started to become violent, people who started to steal, people who started to experiment with some form of illicit medication or prescription medication. Um, that's not a criminal behaviour, but it's also that lack of impulse control that we can see in some of the frontotemporal dementias. You may see other things like trespassing, driving recklessly, or even unwanted sexual advances towards others. A 2015 study found that in 14% of people with frontotemporal dementia, or FTD, breaking the law was the first sign of dementia. So if you or a loved one begins engaging in any form of criminal behaviour or behaviours that really demonstrate a lack of control, impulse control, then it's probably time to make an appointment with your doctor and find out what's behind it. Number three is gum disease. A growing body of research, including a study in the Journal of Periodontology, has shown that periodontal, which is gum disease, is a significant risk factor for dementia. Gum disease is associated with inflammation, which has been linked with an increased risk of Alzheimer's. Be sure to brush your teeth twice a day after meals and floss daily. Flossing your teeth is also a brain exercise. And see a dentist regularly to keep your gums and teeth healthy and for regular checkups and cleanings. Number four is frequent falls. Do you or your loved one find yourself being more clumsy, tripping over, dropping things or even falling? In 2013, a brain imaging study in the Journal of Neurology found that 125 older adults who fell more frequently were more likely to have early onset of Alzheimer's disease. According to the study, falls as well as changes in gait in walking may also precede cognitive symptoms of Alzheimer's or some other forms of dementia. Number five is a failure to laugh. 
people in the early stages of dementia may not laugh appropriately. And according to studies and findings in a 2017 research project, they found that people may fail to laugh at things that are funny or they may laugh at the wrong moments or inappropriate times like at a funeral or when someone is delivering bad news. In addition, they may not be able to pick up on sarcasm. So when someone's joking, they may not notice. If sarcastic remarks are going above your head or you notice are going above the head of your loved one, it may be related to a dementia. Number six is hoarding and other obsessive or compulsive behaviours. An unexpected sign of dementia in some people is a tendency to develop new compulsive behaviours or rituals. For example, becoming a hoarder later in life may signal some sort of neurodegenerative problem. Research from the University of California in Los Angeles looked at patients with FTD and Alzheimer's disease and found that 38% of those with FTD and 10% of those with Alzheimer's disease exhibited significant and identifiable compulsive behaviours, which can include repetitive door locking, checking windows, hiding things. It might involve skin picking or pacing or touching themselves or others. More recent findings in the Journal of Neuropsychiatry suggest that people with early FTD uh, have these behaviours and these are likely impulse driven due to the damaging and deteriorating effects of the frontal lobe which are often involved in impulse control and executive function. Number seven, I did a whole separate video on this one which I will link you to right over here but if you're unable to distinguish scents like cinnamon, baby powder, uh, gasoline, it might be a sign of Alzheimer's. A 2013 smell test conducted at the University of Florida found that people with Alzheimer's disease had more trouble smelling peanut butter in the left nostril compared to their right nostril. According to a 2018 study in Biosensors, having trouble with a sense of smell is one of the earliest preclinical symptoms of Alzheimer's. Other research in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease has found that the brains of people with olfactory, that's your smell, dysfunction, often have the same harmful changes as those seen in Alzheimer's patients. So this is evidence, including a 2016 study uh, from the Aristotle University in Greece, that repeated exposure to certain odours can improve the ability to smell. Some suggested scents from essential oils, particularly rose and lemon, cloves and eucalyptus might help improve the sense of smell in people with these conditions. Number eight, having depression. Depression doubles the risk of cognitive impairment in women and quadruples it in men. Research in the archives of general psychiatry evaluated 5,781 elderly women with tests of mood and memory. Women with three to five depressive symptoms were at 60% greater odds for cognitive deterioration. And women with six or more depressive symptoms were 230% more likely to have problems. The researchers concluded that depression in older women is associated with both poor cognitive function and subsequent cognitive decline. Research in the International Journal of Geriatric Psychiatry shows that late life depression may in fact be a precursor to Alzheimer's disease. So it's critical to get depression treated in the older age population and to keep this symptom in mind if you're considering dementia as a diagnosis. And number nine, the final one, is an interesting one to me, being a clinical psychologist. This one suggests that having untreated ADHD, that's Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder, and other mental health problems may increase your risk of dementia. Multiple studies have found that untreated mental health disorders significantly increase the risk of memory problems. Research shows increased dementia risk with ADD or ADHD, bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, PTSD, so post-traumatic stress disorder, and chronic stress. A study in the Journal of Attentional Disorders showed that adults with ADHD are three times more likely to develop dementia compared with adults who don't have ADHD. So treating mental health disorders can help preserve your memory and also is really essential and critical just to your day-to-day -day activities and your general mental psychological well-being.
If you are concerned about the cognitive processes or the behaviours of a loved one, then it's really worthwhile just going to see your GP or a clinical or neuropsychologist and getting a thorough assessment. Remember, the greatest risk factor for dementia is increasing age. As we get older, our risk significantly increases. And while some decline in our cognitive faculties is normal, a steep decline or significant behavioural changes as the ones we've discussed today are not normal and there's usually some other explanatory cause. If you would like an assessment, you can reach me at energymedicine777 at gmail.com or you can also find me at my clinic, Healthwise Queensland in Bundaberg. I hope this video has been helpful and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other and have a very happy and peaceful day. Bye for now.